Well, hi there. This is Dave DeBoe, Canadian Profits, and today I want to talk about Fort McMurray and all of our friends up there. First of all, thank God uh, you're okay. So I want to say hello to so many of the people that uh, are friends and, and members and students and customers. Um, Real and Sheila Chartrand, John Simcoe, Malcolm and Janelle Setter, um, Marshall Barber, Charles Wilson, Brad Chartrand, so many, so many people. I'm forgetting a lot right now. But off the top of my head, those are some of the folks that I know up in Fort McMurray. The fire, forest fire up there is absolutely insane. I've, I've never seen anything like that. And uh, I lived through the fires here in, in the Okanagan fires of 2003, and that was pretty bad. But that the, the images I've seen on uh, the Fort McMurray fires are absolutely mind-boggling. I'm just so grateful and amazed, frankly, that more people weren't injured or killed. Uh, just seeing the, fly, the flames so close to the road, so close to the houses as people are evacuating. Uh, scary, scary stuff. So heart goes out uh, to everyone who's been evacuated. Um, people have lost their homes, their livelihoods. So <laughs> I've had the privilege of visiting Fort McMurray a couple of times, absolutely blown away by the quality of the people up there. Um, very, very tough, resilient, kind people. So I know that they will bounce back. I know you will bounce back, uh, be stronger than ever. It's a double whammy with the economic situation up there, the real estate situation up there, and now a forest fire ravaging the community. Um, very difficult, very, very difficult times. So I, I know that the people I know up there are going to bounce back and be stronger than ever. Some lessons for ourselves. I, you can never really prepare for a disaster like that. I think the important thing is to realize that it can happen. Uh, very, very real challenge. And even if you're living in a big city, stuff can happen. Natural disasters like this can happen. So the question is, what can you do to mitigate the impact of something like this happen without living in, in fear and, and paranoia about the whole thing? But the thing that comes to my mind is, is taking a look at your insurance. So most of us, if you own properties, have insurance, fire insurance on the properties. That's normal. However, what you might not have is you might not have loss of income insurance. So if you have revenue properties, I highly recommend that you take a look at adding an insurance rider on there that if something happens and you've got no more revenue coming in from those properties, that that gets covered by insurance. Same if you're employed, self-employed or you're a small business owner. Not just having insurance for loss of your location or your inventory or what have you, but loss of income as well, loss of revenue. So that would be my suggestion for that. Uh, interesting thing, watching the news, listening to people talk, as you hear with a lot of these kinds of disasters, the community coming together, communities around there just taking people in, phenomenal. Um, and what's the most important thing? The most important thing is getting your family and yourself out alive and safe. Next most important thing is is memories, right? It's not so much the stuff, it's the photographs, it's the baby albums, it's that, uh, that kind of stuff that's most important. So... Thank God that uh, more people weren't hurt and people weren't killed from the actual fire. There was, there was a very bad accident, but the actual fire itself, absolutely amazed that uh, there wasn't loss of life or more injury. Very, very grateful for that. Heart goes out to everyone in and from Fort McMurray. Take care. God bless. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.